This time, let's start from the bottom. Let's start from uh, the number 270. Uh, so go to the uh, copy of the site and start from 160. So I'm going to go massing, topo surface, 160, 160. I'm going to place my mass over here. There it is. And you can put very few numbers or you can put a lot of uh, dots. I'm just going to be lazy and I'm just going to go there. And then I'm going to go to 170. And I'm just going to start from this end. Alrighty. Then I'm going to go to 180. And if you can't see it, just go wireframe so you can see the numbers down below it. So it's a little bit easier when you do it this way. 180. You keep on going. So I did 190. I'm ready to do 200. Watch, I accidentally put 20. Watch what happens. So I'm ready to put 200, but I accidentally put 20. Look what happens. So you have to watch what number you're going to put. So I'm going to undo what I just did. So go with, again, the point, but 200. Be very careful. So I'm just going to go right here and do numbers. And again, I notice I made the wrong mistake and just make sure you actually put the number. It's easy for the Revit to remember the number that you last put it. So double check 200. Make sure it's, it is in fact 200. All right. Now look how nice and clean it's going to go around. And I just simply put the 200. I'm going to continue with it. I'm not going to fuss with some of the shapes that it makes because at the end it's going to look really nice when I get to these uh, water runoffs. I'm just going to be a little bit more careful and give it a little bit more numbers. But other than that, it's just going to be relatively easy, straightforward as I go through it. All right. So the number, the next number is 220, 210. I'm sorry, 210. So I'm just going to come back here and just give it the 210. All right, keep on going. All right, by the time you're done, this is what you have. Let's just clean up some of these areas. So we know that this is 270, and we would like this to uh, just run a little bit smoother. So we want to go to 68. Watch this. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to change that to 268. Okay, so plug the 268 right over here, because that's my contra line. So if I just run my 268 right like this, it may help my 270. I'm going to run my 270 one more time. And I'm just going to go right over here and I'm just going to do 270 right over here. It may clean my 28 to, to this area a little bit better. Let's just go. That was 270. That was 268. I'm going to go 266. This is this one. Okay, 266. Let's see what it does. Let's hope that it actually cleans it up a little bit. And I'm just going to go this way and I'm just going to go a little bit back here, uh, clean it up. So now I'm going to go to 64 and see if I can clean this up to 64. And that actually cleans this area a little bit. And I'm just going to go 262, 262, and 262 right here. And I put some ridiculous number. That's why it's not going to get it. So I need to make sure that I put 262 so it actually gets it. So undo the part that I just did. 262 sounds good to me now. Now you can actually go around here and clean that up. And this one was 260. Let's go back and change our 260. 
and make sure that we have a little bit more numbers with our 260 so that that is in fact cleaned up. So you can actually clean up your numbers that way and, and it looks a little bit cleaner when you go through it. And here you can actually see where I just cleaned up this area with the, uh, with the slopes. Now I'm going to go back to the site and I'm just going to clean up this area a little bit. So if you edit, if you click edit, pick, and you want to just add some more numbers here. So that, that particular number over here is my 240. So I want to go two feet less. So 240. So I'm just going to go two feet less instead of 240. I'm going to go 238, right? So I'm just going to go with my 238 over here. It just cleaned up my contour lines a little bit. Now I'm going to go 236, just a little bit here. 236. I just want to go here a little bit just a little bit cleaner. There we go. We're good. We're happy. I'm going to go to 34 and just slope this a little bit. Now it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go to 32 and you can see how it just changes a little bit, not a whole lot. Now I'm going to go back to 230. Just pull my lines a little bit and hope that it will clean it up. Uh, or you can always uh, take off some of the lines. I'm not happy with that. I can delete it. I'm not happy with that. I can delete it. And so this goes back to that shape. Uh, once you're done, you just have to check everything. Okay. So it's now much cleaner with that area. Let's go back and clean up this area. So this is my 250. So I'm going to go to 248 topo there. 248, 248, and I'm just going to plug that 248 here. There it is. And there we go. And you check. Now, when you do this, it adds up. So I don't like that. And I just want to say edit surface, or I can actually go undo, exit out, X, okay? And I can X this piece because I don't like it, so I delete that part. So I'm just going to take that topo, edit the surface. Now I'm just going to plug in. That's That works a whole lot better, okay? So 248, notice. So you have to edit it, otherwise it puts an extra contour lines on it. So edit it, and then I'm going to go 246. Don't forget, edit it. If you don't edit it, it's going to put an extra layer right there. And I'm going to go to 44. And every time I put one of these, it just cleans it up just that much more. 242. And there it is. And you can just clean it up uh, until you're very happy. So don't forget, you have to edit the site. Once you're happy with all of the valleys and you're happy with all of these areas, and let's go back and clean up this one, for example. So first pick up, first pick up the site, edit the surface, and now you would like to add some point. That's 270. You want to go 272. So 272 feet. So I just want to put some contour lines over here. So that's 272. There it is. Now it's cleaning that up, 274, it's just putting it right there. It's going to clean it up just a little bit more, and I'm happy. I'm going to go 276, and be patient, 276, there it is, 278, and I'm just going to sharpen this one just a little bit, and I can do so like this. And, you know, you can gradually get exactly what you like and check it out. That's it. Okay. All right, let's find out what kind of mess we made over here. That's an extra one. So what I want to do, I took it out. I want to go topo. Uh, so I'm actually changing it. Exit out. Um, so you're, you're happy with that. And you say cancel. And then check it. Check that thing out. Cancel. And let's paste that 200... Uh, 60, 
260 minus 2 is 258 feet. So I'm just going to place that over here. And you'll see how it's creating the extra one. I'm not happy, so I take it out. So if you would like to change the thing, what do you do? You take the topo, edit surface, and then you zoom close to where you want to change it. Place it, 258. It's happy. You can do it like this. And at first, it really makes it look goofy. And then gradually, you can make, it, make the improvement. Let's go ahead and make it 256 which is that, there it is, and you can actually see what I'm actually ready to do, and gradually it just improves the site as you go down. Now, if you made a whole lot of mess, you could always change it. You could come back here and just simply grab this one and delete it, grab this one, delete it, grab that one, delete it, grab that one, delete it. So if you're not happy with what you did, you can go back and change it. So here there's a whole lot of mess that you have no idea what you did. So you come back and delete all of this because I think that we made some goofy mistakes here and you can grab them by a whole bunch or just one at the time. I like to do one at the time because it allows me to see what it is that I'm actually doing so I'm kind of happy with these contour lines this is where it starts to get off so 260 262 4 6 8 so I'm just going to actually add 266 256 266 I'm sorry 66 there it is so 60 62 64 66 I can just modify that a little bit now I'm much more happy with what I actually did. Now I'm just going to go to 68 and see where that takes me and, and just keep on going. If this is my 280, I'm just going to go to it, 268. And there it is. There's my number and it's a whole lot easier. I'm going to go back to 266 and see if I can actually improve it. And, and then change it. Oops, I made a mistake. You can shuffle the numbers easily and see where it actually goes. If you want to just change this, you can always change it and clean it up. So that's just my point.